I know that some of you are really interested to find out how two people can live in a truck camper and this is a Adventurer 89RB so come on in and I will give you a, a tour around and show you how we fit everything in. Hi, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nikki and in this tour, I'm just going to start from the back and work our way or from the, yeah, from the back, work our way to the front. Um, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of background because I did start with a 2000 square foot house and downsized already to an apartment just short of a thousand square foot. And then when we decided that we were going to go full time, we downsized again um, and we started off with a Winnebago Travato. Uh, 59 GL um, which had uh, a decent amount of storage in there as well but then we are now in this truck camper and there are two of us <laughs> cameraman and me um, so I figured I will show you kind of how we fit everything in and a little bit of an inventory of what we have in this truck camper so we chose a rear bath so this is where I'm going to start so come on in and I'll show you what we've got here First of all, we have, I've, I've, I've attached these hooks myself. So the couple of towels, couple of face cloths. We also have this microfiber cloth to wipe down any moisture after showers. It's really important to keep moisture down. And we have the medicine cabinet. So in here, body wash, shampoo, uh, face soap, toothbrushes, all my ointments and potions. Um, we don't really put anything down here, especially anything that's of weight, because it does bounce on the on the mirror and then it can um, open up. We found things on the floor before now. And that's all we have in here. Okay, so moving swiftly on to um, some storage up here. And we have the big table, which we can fit a couple of uh, laptops, which we couldn't in the B class that we originally had. So this is our entertainment cupboard so um books uh that's a little bow speaker some board games some more books and our headphones we've got more room but that's that's just enough for our entertainment in this cabinet and then it does come with a little stereo but we we never use that thing so <laughs> i'm moving swiftly on moving further into the uh to the rv and this is the next storage cupboard I've added a couple of um, baskets just for ease for grabbing stuff. So in the first one we have uh, laundry detergent and laundry coins, a toothpaste, a shaver and uh, some bug spray. And then next to that is, this is an interesting one, um, we've got a, a um, night vision goggles. We're still experimenting with this but pretty cool. And then in the second basket, I've got body wipes and screen wipes and uh, hair remover, dog hair remover, <laughs> uh, torch, always have a torch somewhere. And uh, that's a clothesline and copper blade oil and any other kind of bits and bobs. What's this here? Oh, uh, corking. <laughs> so this is a bit of a catch all drawer. And then in the back there, oh, toilet poop pods. Definitely put those down when you've done, when you've cleared your black tanks. Um, some paperwork, the manuals, I think. Oh, and first aid. And that's everything in this cupboard. And then over to the kitchen area. And the first cupboard, uh, some of these RVs will have a microwave here, but we don't. So we have, this is a bits and bobs, odds and ends kind of bag. Spare um, paper towels. And we just have, again, how to, how to fit everything in. I have one pan and one frying pan, and that's all I own. And really, I don't need any more than that. I mean, how often are you really going to use all three burners on a cooker? So I just have the bare minimum and that's all I need. And then in this bag, I have a little like 
uh, Ninja um, blender for doing smoothies and things. We don't have a an inverter in this campus, so I can only use that when we're plugged in, but yep. And then onto the next cupboards. And this is just food, basically. Um, and I've just been grocery shopping. So again, put stuff in baskets just so it's easier to grab stuff. Um, I can't actually reach <laughs> this back shelf. Um, so my partner has to grab that kind of stuff for me. Or I can try, there's a little step, and I can get stuff on this end, but, but yeah. So that's just all food. And this drawer is used actually quite a lot. And again, how we fit everything in is we just have pretty much two of everything. So two bowls for breakfast, two plates for dinner, two cups for drinks, two, and a handful of containers. And also what I use a lot is, you know, anything that collapses. So I've got a collapsible colander, collapsible storage. That all helps with trying to get as much use of the space as possible. But I'm in and out of this drawer quite a lot. Okay, and the three drawers in the kitchen. Top one is, so I've got a little kind of basket here for cutlery. And again, we just have the basics. So two knives, two forks, two spoons, two, <laughs> two straws. I have a couple of extras, but mainly we just keep with the bare minimum, you know, and one of each of, of the uh, utensils as well. So, and that's not really that full, that drawer, you know, I could probably fit a few more things in there. And this one is just shopping bags. There's, there's really nothing else in this drawer. Um, I didn't need it for anything else, so. And then the final drawer is a catch-all drawer. So, um, I mean, this is a great tool because this is a screwdriver, but it's got all the different heads and it's all in one little thing. So that's worked out really well. Um, and then another little um, basket thing, which has got all our spare pens and, and water testers and batteries and all that kind of stuff is in that drawer. And then the final cupboard in the kitchen is under the sink. And it's mainly cleaning uh, products and where I keep the paper towels and the bin and spare um, bin liners and, and detergent and tiny little brush. Again, if you can find small things in a small space, grab those. So that works out really well because we haven't got a huge amount of square footage on the floor. So don't need a big brush. One of the major problems that can be for storage is shoes. We found that when we had the Winnebago. I do like this truck camper though, because there is plenty of room for shoes. And how we do it is we have shoe bags. So it's a lot easier to just pull out what we need. Um, and each pair of shoes has its own bag. And then they're not floating around. We have a big cupboard here, which has our more stocky kind of boots and things. And again, we could fit, probably fit more in if we could. I have seven pairs of shoes um, with me all the time. That's including trainers and walking boots and stuff. But if I can fit seven pairs of shoes in here, then that works out for me. And then with jackets, I've put a couple of hooks up here on the wall because um, these can be quite chunky um, and they're going to take up wardrobe space. So the two main ones that we, we want out are here. And then we have a couple of uh, raincoats in the truck for whenever it's raining. I like that this camper also has a wardrobe. Um, so I have this half and then my partner has the other half. So I've got about 14 tops hanging up here and I have more, which I'll show you in a second, um, but I've got 14 hanging. And then at the bottom, um, a little rucksack for the laptops or the iPads when we're heading out. This is a laundry bag, just sits at the bottom there. And then these, some of you might have already seen these, these are packing cubes. And this is the Gonex packing series. So it's a pack of, um, I got a pack of four. So three big ones 
and one half size one. Uh, so this is what I use for my underwear and nightwear and stuff. So um, really convenient and it just sits at the bottom of the wardrobe. So this is my side of the bed. You know, everybody's got their own side, but this is my side. But this is more storage. So in here we have even, uh, so this is spare towels and bedding. And then these are some of my partner's tops. And then I've got a whole bunch of tops here as well. So lots and lots of space for more clothing. This is my basket. So I have a little bit of an overflow on some stuff, creams and facial creams and potions and stuff. Um, but what I've done is I've given myself, I've self-imposed kind of rule of uh, limiting myself of how much makeup I can have with me because there's only so much storage. So um, this bag is just um, uh, utensils and brushes and things, but this bag is all the makeup I own. So for anyone who's uh, interested in how much stuff I have in my makeup bag, um, palettes are, I think, four, four palettes, and then two uh, mascaras. I'm a Maybelline fan. And uh, foundation, I've got one liquid and one powder, and I've got primer and uh, contour powder. And then the, oh, and blush. I only have the one blush. I don't really use a huge amount of that. So, and then lipsticks. One, two, three, four, four lipsticks and three lip pencils. And then eyeliners. I have five eyeliners. And then uh, this is color corrector. And this is eyebrow what is this? Eyebrow gel mascara. And that's everything that I own when it comes to makeup. Separately for nails, this is my nails bag. I can't, I'm telling myself, I can't have any more than what fits into this bag. And at the minute I have, I think it's about four different nail polishes. Let's see, that's a clear, so that doesn't count. One, two, yeah, three, four. And I've I could probably fit one or two more in here, but I'm, I'm trying to restrain myself. I'm being very good. And then for the rest of the basket, I have um, some face wipes. I have my hair dryer, a little notebook, a little purse, um, some, some sun cream. And then I also have <coughs> bear spray, a um, little bit of security. You never know. Um, so I've got something. Um, but that stays on my side of the bed as well. And now we're on the other side of the bed, final corner of the camper. I've bought a couple of baskets for a little bit of overflow. This basket is full of jeans and shorts and a hoodie, which are all my partners. And then this basket is mine with all my shorts, skirts and jeans in that one as well. And then on this side, we have a little vacuum cleaner and a USB fan for when it gets hot. And then I'll just put this here. This USB connector has a bright blue light, which is a real pain at night. So I cover up with my hat. Um, and then this is where we store the laptop. And then there's more storage, like a little cubby hole underneath there, which I've got um, some extra bags, hiking bag, that kind of stuff. Um, just some storage down there. And that's all the storage in the camper. The advantages of having a truck camper and one with a crew cab is that we get a lot of additional um, storage. And in the first, very first video I ever did, I did a quick tour of, of the whole rig and I had touched on this briefly but I'm gonna dive in a little bit more this time uh, so let's start in the middle why not we have two um, fairly kind of medium-sized suitcases these are actually empty therefore if and when we do kind of travel abroad or, and we're not taking the camper with us but they're empty so that could be extra storage for anyone who wants it and then as I said extra coats so these are mainly rain coats and 
warm uh, cold weather coats let's move those over there and let's have a look at the first tub i have spare toilet roll always have spare toilet roll obviously we're an rv so you have to have specific toilet roll for um, our rv i have paper plates and bowls just in case you know if i run out of water or whatever i can use those um sporting equipment <laughs> american football i'm gonna call this an english football frisbee um hold on pickleball bats and things to go with all that kind of stuff golf bags and all that kind of thing tees so let me just put these back and then that is that is hair clippers my, my partner's hair clippers um he has a set in the camper but this is for when we go abroad because american us uh, electronics don't always work abroad and that oh let's do that properly and that's everything in that in that uh tub this side we have uh really tiny again i've mentioned this in other videos of ours um the tiny uh what are these these are camping chairs <laughs> look how small they are they're great and two sets of golf clubs these are sunday bags so they only fit i know maybe half a dozen we've got about four each um, of golf clubs and then that's a folding camping uh, table as i've mentioned before anything that's folding is brilliant and that's a little folding step and then yeah and then that's everything on this side okay let's see this side um i've got spare washer fluid <laughs> why not you never know um, and these are a couple of bed rolls that we got from when we were camping didn't really do proper camping and this is another tub so let's have a look at what's in this one. Oh, hold on okay <laughs> this one's a bit more packed in uh, definitely mosquito repellent always got to have that uh, cleaning cloths for the car this is a camping pillow you never know when that's going to come in useful <laughs> um, what is this i mean n95 masks we've had a pandemic we're in bc where there's a lot of uh, wildfires so we definitely need those uh, camping shovel in case we get stuck somewhere i have let me see what else is here but oh, that should be in the other one that's a <laughs> that's an air pump i have spare command hooks you can never have too many command hooks <laughs> um, and then i have what else a pump i have what is this oh got a a little camping stove again in case something goes wrong with mine tire plugger in case something happens to the tire you could have all this backup stuff really um what else oh yeah that was my camping pans and right under the bottom i'm not going to pull it out because it's all really neatly done but this is the toolkit so this has got a lot of the other tools little hammers little spanner that kind of stuff that we might need and then these are mini little track pads again if we get stuck they're not huge but they will help um luckily we've not had to try these yet but and wd-40 always have wd-40 on hand and that yeah that's everything in that tub so one final thing a little bit of a storage hack for you in the back here <coughs> is this cushion cover and in here i have winter hats gloves scarves all kind of stored into a little cushion cover so as you can see two people can live full time in a truck camper fairly easily i mean we've got even more store more storage space than than we need uh, there's more space in the shoe cupboard and the suitcases you just saw are empty they could be filled as well we're about to pick up a 
an inflatable kayak as well. And that's going to fit in the, in the truck easy, no problem. Um, so it is possible. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments or want even more information about some of the stuff I've shown you today, let me know, comment below. I answer all comments, so head on over there. And yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and click on the notification bell and uh, you'll be notified next time I post. And I'll see you in the next video.